Well, here are your 10 questions for this coming Sunday's lesson, May the 2nd, on Luke chapter 22, verses 41 through 53. And uh, I gotta tell you, this is gonna be my last uh, Sunday school lesson uh, that I'm going to do on YouTube uh, because both of the churches that I serve are trying to get everybody back to Sunday school now that the vaccine is readily available and uh, we don't want to encourage people to stay home by doing a video. Uh, however, if you'd like some insight into the Sunday school lesson, if you'll just email me and let me know, then maybe we can do something that's a little less elaborate than what we've been doing for Sunday school. If you're a teacher and you want some help with a lesson, please feel free to email me or uh, to message me and uh, let me know that you'd like some help with a Sunday school lesson or that you'd like some insight into a Sunday school lesson. And remember that uh, I try to do five days a week, a thought for the day, which you can find on YouTube and you'll find it under my name and I have my own channel there and you can actually subscribe to my channel so that every time I put out a new thought for the day you'll get it automatically uh, to your device whether it be an iPad or a phone or whatever it might be so those uh, resources are still available my thought for the day are basically uh, three to ten minutes and uh, uh, they usually um, in the Old Testament right now because we've been working backwards from Revelation to Genesis and we're in the book of Isaiah in my thought for the day so uh, those are some resources that are available again I do this with mixed emotions uh, I've really enjoyed doing these Sunday school lessons for you uh, at the same time I'm up on a mountaintop where there is no high-speed internet and it's been taking two and a half to four and a half hours uh, to upload these to YouTube and many times interrupted in the middle and I have to start all over again. Uh, so uh, very time consuming and uh, lots of my uploads have had to be in the middle of the night because the speeds were a little better then. So I have mixed emotions. I've loved doing the lessons. I haven't loved putting them up on YouTube because of the slow internet. In any case, here are your 10 questions for the lesson called Willing from Luke 22, verses 41 through 53. The first question is, what are the parallel passages for this Luke 22, 41 through 53? That means, what other passages in Matthew, Mark, and John are there that cover the same event? Question number two, where was Jesus for this event? Geographically, where was Jesus for this event? Question number three, what are the advantages of personal versus corporate prayer? What are the advantages of personal, that's private, versus corporate, that's in a group praying out loud, prayer? What are the disadvantages of personal versus corporate prayer? Question number four, what would you say was the most important words of Jesus' prayer in this event? What would you say are the most important words of Jesus' prayer in this event? Question number five. Why should verse 43 be a great encouragement to us? Why should verse 43 be a great encouragement to us. Question number six. What special additional information did you get from the parallel passages in Matthew, Mark, and John? What special added information did you get when you looked at the parallel passages? Question number seven. Verse 47 and 48 reveal a part of humanity of Christ. Verses 47 and 48 reveal a part of the humanity of Christ. What did it reveal about Christ's humanity? Question number eight. Verse 49 and 50 reveals a spiritual truth. What would you say it is? What would you say is the spiritual truth of verses 49 and 50? 
Question number nine. Verse 51 reveals two important attributes of God. Verse 51 reveals two important attributes of God. That's Jesus in the flesh. What are they? What are the attributes that are revealed to us in verse 51? Verse 53, the last question, verse 53 teaches us what about darkness? What is the lesson that we learn about darkness in verse 53? For extra credit, what should we always remember and apply to our lives based on this event? What should we always remember and apply to our lives from this event? Well, those are your 10 questions. I hope that you'll have fun researching them. I hope that you'll have fun looking at the parallel passages and seeing the additional information that's available there and those parallel passages. And I hope you will drop me a note and let me know what uh, you'd like to see in the way of thought for the day or, or what you might like to have some help with on Sunday School lessons. And particularly if you want some help on Sunday School lessons, let me know what series you're studying. Uh, let me know what Lifeway series or what books you're studying uh, in your Sunday school and I'll be glad to uh, give you some additional help in those lessons. But uh, this will be the last, uh, May the 2nd will be the last uh, FISS, FIS, Fun Interactive Sunday School because uh, both of the churches that I serve would like you to get back into in-person Bible study. God bless you and have a great day.